Thank you so much, Jim, for having me on today. I'm very excited. But before we begin, I want to take you on a journey, a journey through tragedy and trauma, a journey that turned into love, light, lots of hope, and a cause that's bigger than myself. I lost my middle sister, Carrie Lynn, to a completed suicide in, on February 20th, 2017. There doesn't go a day by that I don't think about her and miss her. There isn't a day that goes by that I don't wish I could have changed the outcome. But what happened was I knew I couldn't sit and do nothing. I knew that I had to make a difference. I knew that I wanted to impact, I wanted to make an impact on this thing called life, even if it's only one person at a time. So I took this tragedy of her death and transformed it into a nonprofit called BCC Evolution because Carrie cared. The reason I chose BCC was because mental health reminds me of a blind carbon copy email. You know that line is there, but you don't really know who's on it. That's how I think about mental health. It's there, but you may not know it. My goal is to take those people that feel alone on the BCC line and bring them to the forefront. No need to hide anymore or feel ashamed about your condition if that's how you're feeling. Mental health should be talked about daily, just like the weather. And I picked evolution because we're ever evolving. Did you know, according to the CDC, one in five Americans will experience a mental illness in a given year? One in 25 Americans live with a serious mental illness. However, five in five of us have mental health. And as if that isn't enough, suicide is the second leading cause of death for individuals age 10 to 34. Mental health is such an important topic and not enough people talk about it, which leads me into why we are here today. I wanna talk about a couple of specific mental health conditions and give you a few techniques to help the feelings of overwhelm and anxiety. First, imagine a time when you were feeling really overwhelmed or maybe full of anxiety. Pick a specific event or a time and think back to that moment. If you need to close your eyes to visualize this event, go ahead and do that now. What did you feel? What are you seeing? Or what are you hearing? Really think about this time and allow your unconscious mind to create this picture for you. Look at this event as if it were a movie on a drive-in movie screen. They do have those somewhere. Snap, crackle pop. Now think about your favorite cereal or maybe a cute, soft, cuddly puppy, puppy in your arms. Why did I do that? Because changing your state will change your mind. What do I mean by changing your state? Well, here's some examples of techniques you can use to change your state of mind when this feeling of overwhelm or anxiety come up. First, check your posture. Are you slouched over? Are your, are your shoulders up to your ears? Are you clenching your teeth? If you notice your posture is bad or tense in any way, the fastest way to change it and change your mindset is to sit up straight. Stand up if that helps. Give your body a little wiggle. If that doesn't work, another thing you can do is jump up, maybe do some jumping jacks. Or I have my favorite superhero stance. You can give it a try. But if all else fails, 
one of my favorite breathing techniques, which you can do anywhere you're at. I like to call it the pump it up breathing technique, which I learned from Tony Robbins. Let me show you what I mean. You're gonna take your hands, palms up, and pump up and down. And while you're doing this, you inhale and exhale. So inhale through your mouth, exhale through your nose. You wanna do that 30 times in a row. And then take a pause for about 10 seconds. Once you have that pause, now do it three more times. Same pumping action. You may get some tingly sensation all over your body, but this is totally normal. But the most important part after you do these three reps is how are you feeling? What do you notice now about that anxiety and overwhelming feeling? This is what I mean by changing your state and you can do it no matter where you are. It can definitely instantly change your mindset. And there are so many different things you can do. So whatever works for you, just do it. And if any of these techniques we just walk through work for you, then the next time when you feel overwhelmed and or doing anxiety, keep this anchor in your back pocket and pull it out. You have all of the resources inside of you. You just have to know how to access them. And lastly, words are important. You may have noticed at first when I talked about my sister, I said completed suicide, not committed. There's a huge stigma around committed due to it being related to a crime. So a as a society, we are trying to change the verbiage to completed or died by suicide. Also, you may have noticed I said doing anxiety. Anxiety is not what you are. It's what the behavior that you're doing, and that's anxiety. There is a big difference. And feeling overwhelmed, not you are overwhelmed. This is called person-first language. Words are just as important as action. So if this was helpful and you maybe want to dive deeper and learn more about NLP techniques, which is what I just walked you through, or maybe you want to join our movement to make mental health matter, visit our website at BCC, that's B as in boy, C as in Charlie, C as in Charlie, evolution.org, or Check us out on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash BCC Evolution. I thank you so much for watching, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you now. Together, we can make mental health matter. Wow, that was really a very special, I had my mic cut down there. That was a very special uh, presentation that you just delivered there. And my goodness gracious, um, it really touches my heart because uh, suicide has been, you know, we've had it in our family too. And uh, it's really um, one of the saddest things that a family can go through because of the guilt that you feel, the questions that you beat yourself up asking. And, um, you know, uh, the, the suicide in our family happened on November the 16th, uh, 2013. And it's a day that's branded into your brain. You'll never forget, like, you know, like your sister, she was, uh, what, February the 20th, 2017. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, um, but my daughter, it was her husband that committed suicide. And my daughter's reached out to others. And, you know, she's, you know, like you, she's become proactive and says, hey, we need to talk about this. You know, it's uh, people need to, you know, be, get in touch and be able to share how they, you know, just communicate. And, um, and I'm real proud of her and I'm very proud of you for reaching out because that's a very, um, it's a tough subject to talk about. Because one of the things, and I'm sure you probably experienced this to some degree, 
is that when people come over, they don't know what to say. They're afraid of saying something. I mean, it's just, they just sit there and look at you and just quiet. I mean, they're just, you know, it, it's so much different if we would have lost our loved one to a heart attack or car accident or even cancer, which would give us more time to prepare. But still, uh, when it comes to suicide, I mean, people just, they're, they're scared to say anything. They don't know what to say. And uh, it's really, it's really okay for people to say, you know, I'm so sorry to hear about your loss. And I'm thinking of you and I'm praying for you because that's what the people really need to hear in, in their moment of, in that hour of need, as I like to say. And Kelly, I know that you've been, you've reached out and you've helped a lot of people and it takes a lot of courage. And I just want to tip my hat to you for that. I really do. And I want to personally thank you for your courage. And I know what a, what a tragedy that was that you had to go through. Thank you so much. I appreciate you having me on and allowing me to talk about such a hard topic. But my ultimate goal is to just really give hope and um, show the light at the end of the tunnel and try to save as many lives so that no other families have to go through the tragedy like yours and mine had to mm -hmm. go through. So um, definitely an important topic to talk about and we really just need to talk about it more so that's sure. that's my mission <laughs> it's also great that you've got a place there where someone if they go through that tragedy they can come to and they can get some support that they desperately need because in our situation we didn't have anybody to turn to we were just you know you know and that, that's the that's the most horrible place to be is on an island by yourself questioning yourself beating yourself up and it's perfectly normal to do that, but it's also perfectly wrong to do that and stay there. You reach out yes. to people like Kelly. And Kelly, would you be so kind as to share your website again, please? Absolutely. And yes, reach out anytime. It's BCC, so B as in boy, C as in Charlie, C as in Charlie, evolution.org. If you do .com, it'll get you the same place. So feel free to reach out anytime.